Look how absolutely tiny these live mics are. Okay, people, today I want to talk about one of my favorite pieces of gear that I own and have used over the last two years, and that is the Deity WLAV Micro. I don't always make videos about why you should own a specific piece of gear, but just a heads up, I like this one so much that I think every videographer should have these in their kit. Whether you're a wedding videographer or a commercial videographer, these things are fantastic. My name is Ross Barnett, and I have a mission here of reaching 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. After the last seven years as a full-time videographer in the Savannah, Georgia, and Charleston, South Carolina area, I am taking everything that I've learned and putting it on YouTube to hopefully teach you guys and build a community of everything I know. So if that's something you're interested in, I would greatly appreciate the subscribe. Now, I'm not going to lie. My discovery of these microphones came from a long line of frustration in the wedding industry. And a quick rant. I am so tired of a groom and officiant looking their best on a wedding ceremony only to be dogged down with mic cables wired up from the floor, from the DJ's mics to the videographer's mics and the cables in the way. Most of these lav mics you see are massive and just take up far too much room. At a minimum, at least cable manage the things properly so they're not droopy cables. But unfortunately, this is not the case for some weddings. The videographer can sometimes have the tiniest little lav mic and hidden really well, and the DJ will still come slap a microphone the size of Texas onto their chest. I get it, you need good audio, but they make, they make smaller options like this. It's a tough battle, but one that I'm set out to encourage the wedding community that there is a better way to mic up the officiant and the groom on a wedding day. Now let's jump into the usability. I'm, I'm not gonna do a sound test. Honestly, when it comes to live events and capturing audio, not in a studio space like this, there are so many factors that come to the overall sound quality of a microphone. Plus, almost all of our audio these days is run through post-processing, and with the power of AI, I'm just gonna trust that you know how to properly mic your talent and you know the limitations of your recorders if you're even interested in purchasing a microphone of this caliber. At $140 for just a lav microphone, you pretty much know a specific use case for this lavalier, and that specific use case is to be able to discreetly hide it on your talent easily without exposing their chest and taking a microphone to their chest. This is in Hollywood, but you can hide these very easily. Working with non-actors in a live setting, nobody has ever wanted the videographer to see their chest and slap a microphone to it and tape it down. Anyways, let's go through the number one reason why I love this mic, and that is the usability. If you check out these different screen grabs from recent commercial shoots, now all three of these were moving shots where the talent is walking and talking, going through lower doorways, going through ceilings, where having a boom mic overhead was either incredibly difficult or just didn't happen. Or we might have had a small enough crew and not had enough hands to have an overhead boom. Now, what do you notice about each of these frames? There is a visible lav mic in each shot, kind of. But if you zoom in and you zoom in a little bit more and zoom in way more, if you check the button on each of their shirts, barely peeping through is the Deity WLAV Micro hiding just behind their button on their button up shirt. Now I don't know about you, but I really don't know of a lav microphone that is capable of hiding behind a button like this. It's something I've learned over the years of miking individuals that they really don't make lav mics small enough. I think a lot of that has to do with the recent trends in TikTok and social media where holding a lav mic in your hand is pretty popular. Most creators are just holding them in their hands these days anyways, so why attempt to hide it at all, I guess? Another use case for these microphones is visibility in wedding films. Here's a shot of a recent groom we had who really didn't want to have a lav mic clipped to his lapel at all. It makes sense, he took time to look his best that day, so why not keep it mic free and look his best throughout the entire ceremony? Well, what we did here was we actually take the WLAV micro and clip it to his tie on the inside of his collar, and we rolled it around the back of the collar and dropped the Rode Wireless Pro into his jacket pocket on his right chest. So the microphone clips here on the collarbone and the cable rolls all the way around, and into his pocket. This worked fantastic to give him the look that he wanted without having him to get completely undressed and tape a microphone to his chest. Now, you may be questioning the Rode Wireless Pro move, and I know, it's not a 
professional grade recorder like some, but honestly, I am obsessed with the Rode Wireless Pro for its internal battery, USB-C charging, and the overall size of the transmitter is absolutely tiny compared to most other transmitters. Honestly, when it comes to my wedding day audio kit, and my, just honestly my entire wedding day kit altogether, devices that are smaller are almost always better. And this tiny lav mic pairs perfectly with those tiny transmitters. Now, if you haven't watched my Rode Wireless Pro video and how I use these recorders as a wedding videographer, definitely go check that out. Now let's talk about a few of the downsides. Number one, with a small microphone comes a very small cable and boy, oh boy, do these tangle so easily. I'm not sure if they make something where I can oil down the cable, or if there's any products out there that I can, but like when I'm open out of the case, I can guarantee no matter how I store them, the cable will be tangled before I go to use it. So I keep that in mind when working with these, they will tangle and it will take you some time on set to get them untangled. It's just what it is. I just used these three days ago and it's already in a little bundle here. Number two, and this is complaint is more of a complaint with these DPA adapters to take from a micro dot connection to a locking 3.5 connection. Having to use an adapter means this section is way longer than it needs to be. Where mic cables that plug in with a standard 3.5 are ready to go don't have to be this long. But this kind of goes into negative number three. Although we have a locking connector into the Rode Wireless Pro, this micro dot connector on the DPA does not have a locking connection and can still be untwisted and twisted loose during recording, which kind of defeats the entire purpose of having a locking connection altogether. Now, I know a majority of the complaints are around having to use the DPA adapter and to get, a, to get it to a 3.5 millimeter connection. So I'm not gonna fault the microphones too much, but it is important to know if you plan on using this with a microphone with something like the Rode Wireless Pro or any other recorder that uses a locking 3.5 millimeter connection, the DPA adapters, although I've never had any issues, can be a little finicky to have to work with. So there you have it, folks. That is my quick look into one of my favorite pieces of gear, which is the Deity WLAV Micro. It's come in clutch so many times having these in my kit. And overall, I believe these have made me a far better filmmaker when it comes to client confidence in my work. There's nothing like a client's face who has never seen a creatively hidden lav mic before. And knowing these are smaller than most, it's pretty cool. Kind of gives you like a one up, like, hey, that videographer knows what he's doing. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Keep in mind, we're on a goal here to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. So if you've learned anything today, if you've enjoyed this product's overview slash review, or if you've enjoyed the way that I um, provided any sort of value, click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video.